Hey everyone! You wanna drift like me? You wanna be able to have a drink with one hand drifting? You wanna have a phone call while you're drifting and just keep drifting with one hand? Well, you better watch this video because I got just the perfect settings for you. As you can see, I'm drifting with one hand without a problem, except for the traffic of course. So, let's have a look. Well, I do have to say you should drive with two hands since that's way more safe. So, let's have a look at this drifting video. Now, I don't know if people know me or people do know me. I have my wheel four days now. So, what do you do when you have your wheel? You buy your wheel and it's like, holy crap, I can't drive with a wheel. I can't drift with a wheel. What settings do I need? So, you go to YouTube, forums. And you see this, uh, this setting, this setting, this setting. You try it, it's like, holy crap, I can't, still can't drift or drive. Yeah, I had that too. I got annoyed, it's like, really? So I started to figure out things myself. I started to figure out what's the best setting. I've been reading on the forum from Forza, what means this, what means that. I've started to drift, uh, tune the drift car. Now, I do have four on the tunes and now I'm uh, been tuning a lot of cars and drift cars so I do know what I have to do to get the car in uh, a decent drift now as you can see I can just drift I'm not even using a fancy handbrake like this meep, meep, meep. no I don't have that I only have this shifter that I don't even like I need to mold it because I do want to have a H shifter not this weird thing um, so let's have a look what do you need to do what's the most thing that you want to do is you do not steer too much that's one thing you need to practice that because I see videos of people drifting and they drift like <laughs> like this 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 no way no 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 if I have to do that I'll be sweaty as F so no as you can see you can get your car in a drift one second there you go and let's go into a drift there you go you do not see me sweat or swing my wheel 900 degrees from the left to the right no i'm actually just holding one finger now and you can drift now what's the thing about the drift i will show you my settings after i explain a few things and show the few things um so let's see what's important um the thing is your wheel setup so i have a logitech g29 you also have the 920 it's basically similar now the thing is what i have i'll show you here i have this one if it actually wants to work there you go i have this on 320 degrees now what i read about forza official form it doesn't matter this thing so basically you can scrap that you can always put it on 320 to have the same like me now you wonder why you say Val how the crap can you drift like that after four days having a wheel well it's basically just search yourself for the best settings as you can see you can easily drift also on the streets I'll also go to the uh, drift zone now what you need to do is if you don't have a fancy handbrake like this, I do want one because then I can just drift with one hand and handbrake everything. Because sometimes when you go out of the, when your car doesn't go good in the drift, you have to use the handbrake. So with the wheel, if you actually want to do, oh god, you got a lot of traffic. So if you want to get your car into a drift, what do you need to do? Either turn your wheel, throttle hard, and the car will break out and you can start a drift. Or you can actually use the handbrake and the car just easily goes into a brake, uh, a drift. Now, what's the problem with a wheel? What I see on YouTube, they do like, uh, like this and like this and like this. Seriously, I can't drift like that. I just want to drift legs, good and all that. So you need to map your handbrake on the X here. So basically it's this one. I do not have a camera here, but Somewhere next week I'll change my setup so you actually see me steer on my pedals. Uh, you do not want to see how I sit here right now with my socks. But I'm actually driving on my socks. So definitely map your handbrake on the X. So it's very easy. Now I can just, I wish I had a camera, I can just hold my thumb on the handbrake. So that's very easy. Now if you would drift like I've seen on videos like this. 
I swear to God, I can't use my handbrake as you can see. That's no option. So I'm drifting and I'm on the handbrake. Yeah, you try to fight your goddamn bottom to drift on one, two, three, four, five, six on those. Why well, are there too many? So, okay. So let's have a look at a drift a drift zone. I'll draw. I'll drift with two hands this time. Now, just so you know, I do not edit my video because I think people should see how it actually is and not just hey I got settings and I got a perfect drift trying a hundred times no this is the on the go video that's what I like I like to show people how it actually is just stay tuned because I'll show you my settings and car settings so let's have a look first I will go into a drift without using the handbrake oh god I'm getting already tired from this no no it's very warm so see you can get into a drift the problem is i didn't go fast enough so let's engage the drift there you go as you can see the car is drifting i'm just using my acceleration right so you can easily use the acceleration to drift well if you don't hit those stupid things on the on the streets so you see you can do it like that now it's way easier actually if you learn it just use your handbrake to start so let's have a look my thumb is on the X the handbrake not on the fancy stick that I don't have maybe one day I will I'll put them in Ford so I'll go press the handbrake and as you can see the car goes into a drift you go off throttle and again now here you got a little problem because you need to turn the car on brake see how easy it is I'm not throwing my wheel like 900 degrees, breaking my arms and fingers just to get the thing. As you can see, I'm actually drifting very relaxed. Well, this part went wrong, but hey. At the end, you see my points, I still have 148,000. So once again, either you go use the throttle, the steering, into a drift, as you can see, or you use the handbrake I'll use the handbrake to show if I don't get a tram so I'll start I press the handbrake and there you go I'm off you see you don't see me um, oh god so much traffic you don't see me like <coughs> my whole setup moving that's no you do not want that that's just a no-go now let's have a look if you just go like you say you have a foul uh, uh, bah, bah, and see a lot I'll just take a drift I'll just drive around because that's also very good to practice the drift I wish there was less traffic so you're cruising I know a lot of people like cruising and you want to just drift around with your friends and then you see traffic that hits each other here you just press your throttle use the oh god I can't drift here and there again but you can use the handbrake the thing is this I should have go uh, into a Forza on live so I don't have traffic uh, for making the video but as you can see you can easily drift the car now it is winter so it's not the easiest time to actually learn to drift but I'll show you my settings and also the car setup I'll show it in a minute I'll quickly show something else now what I always say to the people is I need to take my pets that's why easier when you want to start learning to drift go to a roundabout very simple if you can drift the roundabouts, you can start doing drift zones or just go onto the street. So basically just put the car in fourth gear, make the car drift, there you go, and just try to keep the car on the full roundabout. As you can see it's very easy, I'm just drifting with one hand, so this setup and the wheel settings are very very easy to do. 
So that's the thing you need to start to learn. So I'll go over to my settings. So you guys can try my settings. Um, I can assure you, you will love it. Now, just so you know, one other thing. I told you I do not want to do 900 degrees. I will break my arms and fingers. So as you can see, oh my, it seems that my bottom is on the horn also. When I move my steering, you see I have a very short distance that I need to do. Why is that? Because it's easier to slowly drift and adjust the car for that. If you need to turn your wheel completely like this, it's just a no-go. You will be tired after 5 minutes and say, oh god, I do not want to do that. So let's have a look at my settings. There are too many bottoms on this steer. So let's go to these settings here. One thing. Do not put steering on simulation. Forza. If you put it on simulation, all the other settings will be basically cancelled. So the best thing what you can do is put it on normal. Trust me, I tried, I tested simulation. No, just do it on normal steering. All the rest, ABS off, of course, for drifting. Uh, just take manual um, and all that. So let's go to the control settings. The wheel here, I have a custom profile. Um, this is for drifting, so I need to also have a racing one. That doesn't really matter. So let's have a look at the advanced settings. Here you will see this one is very weird if people have a wheel. Yeah, it looks weird, but trust me, for drifting, it is what you need. So I'll slowly go. I'm not going to explain it because at the end, on the website of Forza, I'll put it in the link. There you can actually read what everything does. But these are my settings. I will go slowly over them if you want to copy them. I wish I had some music, but then I'll get a claim. But you can always pause the music, uh, the video. Yeah, you will say, well, Jesus, you have your wheel four days and you have very weird uh, setup on your advanced controls yeah but you see you can easily drift with it these settings are completely different from all other people that i've seen but this actually works very easy now if you have copied that if you have the toyota supra i will show you the tune i will share it so if you want to try my tune either you copy my settings of the car or you just download it um, and if you like it just definitely leave a like on my video and share it please so here are this is the setup i'll just go slowly over it there's basically nothing much to say it does look weird when you see it but trust me it works there you go the damping, arrow, the brakes. You can always change the pressure of the brakes, uh, that doesn't matter. And the differential. So these are the settings for the Supra. Now, I'll tell you one thing. The Supra is a really, really, really easy car to drift. Um, you can easily also use it with your pads. Here is the pads. As you can see, I'll just go on the roundabout. Basically, the settings I have for my wheel feel the same like my pads. See, I have no problems keeping the car in a drift, as you can see. And then you just take over the wheel and you can just keep drifting. So this is basically the proof that my settings actually work. I can just go from my pads to my wheel and the car just keeps drifting. Well, basically that's it. I showed you the settings. I showed you proof that I actually have the right settings for this. Now, this, these are drift settings, not racing settings. If you want to start racing, don't use that because you will end up in the trees, uh, whatever, against the cars and all that. But, well, that's basically it. Once again, I have my steering 
uh, my wheel for four days I was looking for the decent setup as you can see you can drift the car easy while well, that went wrong it's snow but I do not like this part here of the map uh, let's have a look where can you drift I'll just go to the city it doesn't really matter I won't make the video too long I just want to show you that you can easily drift with a steer even if you have it for four days so here there was too much traffic so once again either you use the throttle and the steer to go into the drift or you just press the handbrake the handbrake is of course the easiest one now there's a lot of people on the, here so let's say I'm gonna drift to the right and I'll turn my wheel and I use my throttle oh god I would love a game without traffic or you just use the handbrake don't press the throttle too much if you're using the handbrake don't press the throttle too much because then you definitely will get well then you will spin out so there go off throttle get the car in the drift as you can see there you go just be gentle with the throttle just be gentle with the wheel you don't need 900 degrees or whatever well hello wall here also you can actually just keep the car in one hand if you lose the drift either you press the handbrake that's one or just play with your wheel and the throttle so as you can see here I don't need to move my steering wheel too much and I can perfectly drift around about there you go that was it that was my first video with a wheel I must say I really enjoyed it and I also have to say after four days playing with the wheel and the force feedback my shoulders really hurt so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope my settings will actually help you to drift very easy um, because I tried so many settings and they just do not go um, but please leave me a comment and also a like if you like the video if you like my setup for the wheel and the setup for the car I will share my tune after the video and then just try it and let me know something okay thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and that you're gonna be a pro drifter now with the wheel bye bye